shoulder where the God said this were a prophetic message for everyone. You ask, what is ish? God said it is all the ish, like anguish, perish, foolishness, selfishness, and women and men, and et cetera, that distract, stop, block, interrupt your focus from doing God's work and doing the kingdom's business for God's glory. Hmm. It's ish scriptural. Why, yes, it is. See Hosea 2.16. Ish is Hebrew number 376 for husband. It serves as a prefix for the collective whole. See Romans 12, 11 through 16. There is not a respect of persons with God, especially when it comes to saving souls, y'all. He included opportunity for all, no matter what. Ish, we do daily. See Romans 12, 2. We are not to conform to the pattern of thinking of this world, but in God, we are to be transformed in the renewing of our mind as we ourselves and thinking and acting beyond the first thought of ish that holds us back. We experience receiving the Father's power and love right now on earth in kingdom come to, for tomorrow, never forward. He calls us his chosen first in disrupting the ish pattern of thinking of this world. We do not conform. We disrupt ish for God's glory. Amen. Right now. God said, it's time, and I heard him in my spirit, y'all, and I cannot run, you cannot run from the Father for long. Get in position, receive your identity, accept your benefits. Staycation is O-V-E-R, over y'all. Many blessings and wisdoms and insights to come, and thank y'all for asking. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, go disrupt some issues for God's glory. Bye.